Lafferty mixing stations use water pressure to accurately dilute chemical concentrates and dispense solutions into any size container. Mixing stations can be activated with a ball valve or push lever action. Available models can mix and dispense up to five solutions with a choice of three flow rates. This video shows the three-way ball valve mixing station with one of each factory set flow rate, bottle fill, low flow, and high flow. Let's start with what to expect in the box. Carefully remove all packing material. Here is what should be in the box. First, a Ziploc bag will have in it a folded instruction sheet and a smaller Ziploc bag. There will also be plastic tubing in the box. The installation and operation instructions, or I and O, should be kept with the unit and followed closely during installation and setup. After installation, store the I and O where it is easy to find. The smaller plastic bag contains metering tips, a tip driver, and a paper metering tip guide. For each injector in the unit, there should be one chemical pickup tube and one discharge tube. One of each for a one-way, three of each for a three-way, and so on. Each chemical tube has a suction strainer and a weight at one end. Discharge tubes are wider than suction tubing. A shorter discharge tube is provided for the bottle fill valve to allow for easy dispensing into handheld bottles. Before preparing your unit for wall mounting, take a few moments to become familiar with the instructions. The basic requirements for operation are listed on the front. Page 2 shows safety precautions and details for installing and operating your unit, including a metering tip chart. The technical drawing is on page 3 and calls out notable parts. Preventive maintenance and troubleshooting tips are on the back. On the front of the unit, note the label above each ball valve. At the bottom, you can see the ends of the chemical check valves. This is where you will insert metering tips after the unit is mounted and connected to your water supply. Now you are ready to mount the unit at a convenient height above the chemical. To prepare the wall, pilot holes should be drilled for the mounting screws. Refer to page 3 of the instructions for the mounting dimensions of the unit, including the location of and distances between them. The unit can serve as a convenient template for marking the location for pilot holes. Drill the pilot holes and insert anchors as needed. Insert the screws, leaving the screw head about one quarter inch from touching the wall, so the unit can be mounted using the keyhole openings. Before mounting, place the unit face down so you can see the injectors. Blue is for bottle fill, white is for low flow, and black is high flow. Push a wide plastic discharge tube over the hose bar above each injector. The short tube is for bottle fill. If needed, any of the tubing can be cut to a shorter length. Now you are ready to mount the unit and install metering tips. Secure the unit to the wall. Connect the inlet water hose. Open each ball valve one at a time and write down the water pressure shown on the gauge. Expect the pressure readings to be slightly different for each ball valve due to flow rate differences. Use a bucket to catch water that discharges during this testing. Now that you have noted the actual water pressure for each valve, you can select the metering tips. The color-coded chart in the metering tip bag corresponds with the chart on page 2 of the INO to aid you in selecting the desired tip color. Below the metering tips information, the water flow rate of each injector is listed at various water pressures. This information is needed to calculate what metering tip to select for a desired dilution ratio at your specific water pressure, using the manual formula provided. However, you don't have to do any of the math yourself if you use our online metering tip calculator or the downloadable metering tip calculator app. Use the metering tip driver to carefully install a metering tip into each check valve. Do not over tighten the tips. Next, install chemical suction tubing onto the check valves. Place the end of the tube with the suction strainer into a chemical container so the strainer touches the bottom. If you are using a Lafferty jug stick, as shown here, or a drumstick or tote stick, remove the strainer and weight from the tubing before connecting it to the hose barb of the stick. For proper operation and to prevent chemical siphoning, always locate chemical containers lower than the mixing station. Your unit is now ready for use.